Cut. <laughs> okay. Today I'm taking over the channel and I'm gonna be showing you how to put on the skid plate on the Honda XR 150 L. <laughs> um, also known as um, Wilbur, if you've seen him on the channel. Um, I'm not very, uh, don't have much tool experience, but I'm gonna get through it and I'm gonna show you how to do it. We got the XR150L and we got Jess. <laughs> and today Jess has a puzzle that she's going to have to figure out how to install. It's going to be the skid plate for the bike. Here's the part number and the tools she'll need to install the puzzle is a four millimeter hex and an eight millimeter socket. Okay. So it goes on there. Nope, by the way. Like that. Yeah. That's not, that's not tightening it. You're just spinning the ratchet. I don't know how to use one of these things. <laughs> there you go. You got it. Yeah, that looks good. Wow, I'm a pro. Professional. It's that easy. Here's my easy button. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. Okay. All right, there you go. Can I have my next set of tools, please? And just get them a little snug. Don't over tighten them. I'll tighten. I'll hand. I'll tighten them the rest of the way. I mean, I'm pretty strong. I can do it. I know you're strong. I don't want you to strip the bolt. Oh, you're gonna drive it? We're taking it for a drive. No. All right. Well, we got the skid plate on. And I also wanted to show that we went ahead and installed some pegs at my dad's. And we're gonna be taking off these little teeth so it doesn't tear up our shoes as much. But I'll have a link in the description to this, these pegs. They uh, didn't require any modification. They're just, uh, uh, you gotta have some pretty strong hands to, to get it to fit in. But compared to the stock peg, you can see you got way more surface area for your foot and they don't have the weird, you can see we've modified the stock ones, that weird angle where they're kind of like that, cambered up. But the new ones look awesome. We're going to go ahead and take those teeth off. Alright, so to remove the little studs, or I call them teeth, um, it's a five millimeter socket. And they just come right out. All right, this is what it looks like with the studs off, or the teeth. And I just took it up the street, and I can already tell this is going to be the best mod we've done yet. It's just so much more planted. And they're actually really nice quality. Once you get them in there, they're a little tricky to get in, but once you get them in, they're awesome. And they match the red on the bike pretty well. It'd be interesting to see how long, if the anodizing holds up or not. But yeah, really happy with them so far.